Hi, and welcome to the Leaders Room, brought to you by the Ecliff Leadership and Governance Center. My name is Michael Kostler, and I'll be your host for this edition of the Leaders Room. Today, we're in Kuala Lumpur for Ecliff's sixth Leadership Energy Summit Asia. Earlier, I had an opportunity to chat with one of our guest speakers, Stephen M. R. Covey, a global authority on trust, leadership, and organization culture. Stephen is also the author of the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal best-selling book, The Speed of Trust. Here's what Stephen had to say about how trust is the thing that changes everything. So, so Stephen, I gotta ask you, I've read all your dad's books, you know, and I've read your book. Yeah. In fact, if the bookstore has the latest uh, revision to it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna Do they? track you down. I don't know, I haven't, oh, good. I was, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get you to sign it because your original copy is on my yeah. desk back in, in the United States. There's an updated but, edition, yeah, I know, it just came I, out. I saw that. So, t tell me one story about your dad. What's one thing your dad told you? You know, a piece of advice, an anecdote, that to today you still use to guide yourself. Yeah, uh, well, the, and an anecdote is when he earned his doctorate, I yep. remember telling him, hey, I was 14 years old, and yep. I said, Dad, congratulations, you earned yeah. a doctorate. And he said, well, thanks, son, that's nice, and this is important. And then he said, but you know, here's something you, you ought to think about. This, this doctorate's an, an achievement, it's a good thing. I'm glad I did it, it's important. What would be more important is to earn an honorary doctorate, to, to be given an honorary doctorate. Because that is given to people who have made a contribution. And while an achievement is important, making a contribution is far more important. Always remember that. Mm -hmm. Life is about contribution, not about accumulation. Okay. And I might even say life is about contribution, not just achievement. Okay. Now again, there's nothing wrong with achievement. Right, right. That can be part of a contribution. But always have the focus be to serve, to give back, to make a difference, to matter. He talked about you know, going from survival to stability to success to significance. Mm. To learn, to, you know, to live, to love, to learn, to leave a legacy. He that's what Eclipse is about, too. Well, he must have been an incredible human being. He was, okay. he was. So let's make the transition to you. Let's start at the end. What's the contribution you're making? I feel like my mission is to help increase trust in the world. Mm -hmm. And we are living in a world of declining trust okay. in societies, okay. in organizations, in institutions, in mm -hmm. relationships. And, you know, I like to say that distrust is contagious. It tends to perpetuate itself. And in a low trust world, we all become a little bit more more careful, more cautious, more guarded, because none of us want to get burned. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that people respond back, more careful, more cautious, more guarded. Sure. And we, what we find ourselves, Michael, is perpetuating a vicious downward cycle of distrust and suspicion, creating more distrust and suspicion, and everybody feeling justified in the process. Okay. But what if instead we could counteract that and create trust and confidence when there was only suspicion before, mm -hmm. and have that spread? to become a virtuous upward spiral where trust and confidence create more trust and confidence. And when people see a leader that they can trust because of their credibility, their character, their competence, and when that leader models the behaviors that build the trust, mm -hmm. and they say there's a better way to lead, sure. you can get results and you can do it in a way that inspires trust, okay. then people, they, get, they gain yeah. hope. They say, right. well, this leader is doing it. You know, Warren Buffett's doing it. Um, uh, Tony Shea's doing it at Zappos, and right. these other people are doing it. They're getting results, and they're doing it in a way that builds the trust, inspires trust, and suddenly there's more hope, more optimism that you can still perform and compete okay. at the highest okay. level and do it in a way that builds trust, and we need more of that in the world. And so to be able to say there's a methodology of how you can get good at building trust yes. on purpose, yeah. that's what I'm about. So I, th I think I know what you're going to say to my next question. But I want to focus on the subtitle to your book. Yeah. The book is The Speed of Trust, The One Thing That Changes Everything. Mm -hmm. Interpret that for me. What, what, yeah. what's, what's the essence of it? trust, the one thing that changes everything? I'll tell you a little story about it. When, okay. I, when I was submitting that as my subtitle, my publisher said, you can't say this. That, that's, that's too bold. That's the one thing that changes everything? You, you, you can't say that. And I said, here's why I am saying it. It does. If, 
high trust is like a rising tide. Mm -hmm. It lifts every boat. Yes. If you get good at trust as a leader, suddenly your ability to do everything else you need to do as a leader has just gone up. Okay. It's multiplied, it's a multiplier for everything. Okay. Your ability to collaborate, to partner, to team, to engage, to attract, retain, inspire people, to execute strategy, to innovate, everything goes up with trust. And okay. distrust, by contrast, works the other direction. Everything goes sure. down with distrust. Sure. It taxes everything. And so, um, and you can take anything you're looking at, you can do better if you start with trust. And so it's, that's why I said it's the one thing that changes everything. I, mm -hmm. I affirm that and I reaffirm that as I, as I publish the updated edition that this remains the one thing that changes everything. And so that's not a nice platitude, you know, that sounds like a great marketing tagline. It is a reality. Okay. And every dimension of leadership goes up with trust. Okay. So earlier when we were talking, a few moments ago, you said results. Yeah. And there's a, uh, there's a line in your book that says that trust is a hidden variable of the organization success model. Yeah. What is that model and how does trust fit into it? Yeah. Well, if you look at most kind of organizational success formulas, people kind of say, well, look, you got, you got to have a good strategy. Yeah. You got to execute the strategy. That equals results. You know, strategy times execution equals results. Right. And I fundamentally buy that. But too often, there's firms that on paper have a really good strategy, and on paper they have the ability to execute, and yet they're not performing at all. Mm -hmm. So there's something else happening. Okay. And I call it a hidden variable. And the hidden variable is trust. Mm -hmm. When there's low trust, it will take a good strategy and diminish it, dilute it, tax it. Your ability to execute it goes down dramatically. It slows, at a minimum, it slows down. But it will also, you'll be limited in what you can do. It dilutes it, it taxes it. And so strategy times execution multiplied or diminished by trust. trust. The hidden variable is trust. It makes good things better and it takes, and when the trust is high and it diminishes, dilutes, taxes all your strengths when the trust mm -hmm. is low. And so most people never think of it this way. They, they think it's just a nice, soft social right, virtue. Right. And I'm saying, no, this is an economic driver. Okay. And it multiplies or diminishes it, um, everything else that we're trying to do. And that's the hidden variable, the okay. it's trust.